Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Doc, and we're back again today for day two of VBS. Today, we're gonna be making a super cool hovercraft with the help of my good friend, Marty. Did you say hovercraft? Doc, I think I've ridden one of those before. In the future. Well, Marty, may I clarify? It's not a hoverboard, it's a hovercraft. Oh. So we're gonna take our clear plastic bag labeled Craft Day 2 Hovercraft and maybe some markers if you wanna decorate your foam balls. I decorated mine like they're from the future. That's great, Marty, they look awesome. Next, we're gonna take our tube and put the plastic piece precisely into the middle, just like that. And then we're gonna take our balls and put them on top and then gently blow into it and watch them hover. Are you ready, Marty? Yeah, Doc. Let's do it. Jumping gigawatts, Marty! Doc, you mean to tell me that these things are nuclear? Precisely that, Marty. Now, let's talk about how it relates to our Bible story. If you remember, Peter, he asked Jesus to tell him to walk on water. Jesus said, come to me, and he obeyed. Right. When Peter had his eyes on Jesus and he chose to follow him, he was able to walk on the water. He was able to hover across the waves. But when Peter lost his vision of Jesus and when he began to look at how high the waves were around him, he grew scared. He was a chicken. Not like me. Nobody calls me a chicken. But when Peter lost his vision, he lost his faith in Jesus. You see, with this craft, the ball hovers over the tube, kind of like how Jesus hovered over the water, and Peter did too for a little bit. With focus and effort, you can lift the ball and let it fall back into place without having them fall to the ground. With steady faith in Jesus and looking to him always, you can run the race, knowing that Jesus is always there calling for you to come. Wow, thank you for this reminder, Doc, and for this cool hovercraft. Let's let this be a reminder to us to never doubt Jesus and to always trust that he'll be there for us, whether it be 1955, 1985, or the Wild West. Since we're in the year 2020, let's use our 2020 vision to keep our eyes focused on Jesus. 